By now, everybody knows that AI has advanced at lightning speed. But what if I told you that, very soon, AI is going to develop even faster than ever before? Alex Shepard here, your tour guide to the world of AI. That's right. We are on the verge of a breakthrough in AI speed thanks to a huge announcement from AI processor king NVIDIA. Soon, AI development could be powered by NVIDIA's latest game changer, the H200 GPU. The amount of power that this little microchip here has is enough to allow developers to create AI models two times more powerful than ChatGPT, three and a half times faster than anything currently on the market, and train LLMs on now billions of parameters. If there is ever going to be a more complex AI model created than the likes of ChatGPT or BARD, the only way that's happening is using NVIDIA's new H200 microchip. Today, we're going to show you what is now possible in AI, thanks to NVIDIA's new breakthrough. First, in case you are wondering what GPUs, which were originally for graphics, have to do with AI, let me explain. In a nutshell, AI development in the last few years has relied on GPUs for training and building AI models. They can simultaneously process the complex multiple computations required by machine learning and deep learning and they can do it much faster than central processing units, or CPUs. This incidental fact has led to AI development relying on fast GPUs to do the grunt work of processing. Now, let's unwrap NVIDIA's latest marvel and why it's such a big deal. The H200 is not just an upgrade, it's a revolution built on the cutting-edge hopper architecture. This GPU is designed to bring unprecedented speed and efficiency to LLM and generative AI models. Why is this a big deal? Well, for starters, the H200 promises a performance leap that could redefine the capabilities of AI models. We're talking about faster processing, more complex computations, and an ability to handle vast amounts of data like never before. According to NVIDIA, the H200 delivers 141 gigabytes of memory at 4.8 terabytes per second, nearly double the capacity and 1.4 times more bandwidth compared with its predecessors, the NVIDIA A100. Now, let's delve into why this matters. AI models, especially LLMs and generative models, are power-hungry beasts. They require massive computational resources to simulate human-like understanding and creativity. Enter the H200, and we could see a seismic shift in what these models can achieve. This new processing beast promises power that is more than twice that of the current flagship, the A100. Of course, the A100 is the most used GPU by the big boys of AI, such as OpenAI, Midjourney, and others. Now imagine AI composing symphonies, designing buildings, or even writing books with an intricacy and speed that's currently out of reach. This new chip, with its 2x leap in power, could have a huge impact in development and performance. Think of an AI that can create almost as fast as you can think, and the possibilities become pretty mind-blowing. Now, of course, the transition to the new chips will take some time and work, but one of the big advantages is that many developers are already familiar with the NVIDIA design architecture. From what is known so far, we can expect these new GPUs to not depart radically from its predecessors in terms of software. For regular users, this means you should get ready for faster GPTs and more apps that can help you in a multitude of ways, from productivity to business. Now, for my AI Nexus tech geeks out there, here are the stated specs on the new chip to put the computing power in perspective. We stated this a minute ago already, but worth highlighting. It comes with 141 gigabytes of HBM3E memory. This is nearly double the capacity of the previous generation NVIDIA A100 GPU, and it provides 1.4 times more memory bandwidth. This will allow the H200 to handle larger and more complex AI models, as well as to process more data at a time. This will be the key determinant on what will allow ChatGPT5, and likely a GPT6, to even be possible. Secondly, it includes new FP8 tensor cores, these new tensor cores are specifically designed for AI training and inference using the FP8 data format. This will allow the H200 to achieve up to three and a half times faster performance than the previous generation for FP8 workloads. And along with the new chip comes a new AI software stack. NVIDIA is releasing a new AI software stack that is optimized for the H200. This software stack includes new libraries and tools for training and deploying AI models. So why is this announcement such a big deal? Well, part of the reason is that NVIDIA is so dominant in AI. With their GPUs setting the gold standard for AI development, they've been at the forefront of AI's revolution. 
Remember the Tesla series or the groundbreaking Turing and Ampere architectures? Each of these represented a leap forward for AI capabilities. The H200 stands on the shoulders of these giants, poised to push the boundaries even further. Some are asking, how did NVIDIA become so dominant in the AI space? This has been in part due to the relentless innovation in GPU technology, once aimed at gamers, now at the heart of AI. GPUs, with their parallel processing capabilities, turned out to be perfect for training AI models, making NVIDIA an inadvertent yet pivotal figure in the AI revolution. For the everyday user, the H200 can mean smarter AI in your home, more immersive gaming experiences, and even breakthroughs in personal health tech. It's about enhancing your daily life with AI that's more intuitive and responsive. For developers, it's a dream. Lower costs, higher efficiency, and the ability to create more complex AI models. The H200 opens up new possibilities in AI development, from advanced neural networks to real-time language translation. It's a tool that can redefine the limits of what's possible in AI development. While it might sound like NVIDIA has it made in this high-stakes game, they aren't alone. The competition is heating up, and NVIDIA might not be in the lead forever. Some other tech giants are threatening to come out with rival products, such as with Microsoft recently announcing its own AI processor, Maya, and a new ARM-based chip, Cobalt. Maya is designed explicitly for AI generation, and Microsoft has a huge competitive advantage. NVIDIA currently depends on server providers such as Microsoft, with Azure, Google Cloud, and others to deploy their GPUs and make them available to AI developers. Since Microsoft owns its own cloud, this could give them a significant advantage, especially when it comes to competing against NVIDIA's products. In another threat, Google announced in April of this year that the tech titan would also be working on developing its own AI generation hardware. Google claims that their system uses much less power than NVIDIA's and has already been put to the test in training their Palm model. This signals a growing trend of tech giants investing heavily in specialized AI hardware, setting the stage for an intense race to power the future of AI. In other words, we might be about to witness a hardware dominance race between tech builders. While NVIDIA's H200 is a formidable contender, Microsoft's Maya and Cobalt reflect the industry's hunger for innovation and diversity in AI hardware. It's a race that's not just about speed and power, but about shaping the very fabric of AI's future. It is yet to be seen whether global chip and material shortages will put a damper on these ambitions. But one thing is clear, things are heating up, and the big fish at the top of the food chain are going to keep pouring money and resources into gaining any advantage they can. Anyone who one-ups the competition in the hardware game might end up with huge points in their favor. As we witness these titanic shifts in AI technology, one thing is clear. The future is being written now, chip by chip, AI model by AI model. Everyone is focused on the AI model race, but the AI hardware race is just as heated. Speaking of titanic shifts in AI, have you seen the latest here in this video?